Hello everybody, Joe Fiducia back with another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the Document Inspector, one of the last tools that we'll discuss with that general theme to it, meaning that it's a feature across the board in Office 2010. What it can do for you is simply look through your files to see if there's any personal information you may not want to share. Examples might be thinking of an Excel spreadsheet. We might have a cell comment that we forgot to remove. Or we might have a Word document that has a watermark in the back of it. Or we might have a PowerPoint presentation with headers and footers we forgot about. And a lot of these things may be considered proprietary. Or they may just be something that we don't want to share with a third party. Let's take a look at how it works. Now as you can see here, I have a Word document and let's say for example, I'm getting ready to send this document to a third party outside of our company. Before I send it, I would like to see if there's anything I've forgotten about, anything that might be considered personal or proprietary. To do that, I can run the document inspector and that's located on the file tab up there on the top left. Under file, we're going to go down to where it says info and then under info, we select check for issues. Under that menu is another option called Inspect Document. Once we open up the Document Inspector, it'll give us a summary of the things it's going to look for. You can see, for example, it's going to look for comments or revisions. It's also going to look for document properties. It'll look for things like headers and footers and watermarks. A lot of things that might be, again, considered personal or proprietary. To run the tool, we simply click Inspect and then it'll take a look in the file for anything that it finds under those categories. Now you can see here in this example there are some blue check marks next to certain things it did not find but there also are some red exclamation points right here where it says document property. It's found a few properties that we may want to consider removing and it's found a few headers and footers or watermarks that we may want to consider removing. Here you can see in the detail it's actually a footer that it sees. The idea to this tool is not only to bring attention to these areas, but to also give us an option to remove those problems. So what I can do if I would like to remove the footers that it found, I simply click Remove All on the far right hand side. I can do the same thing here for the document properties. These are all the properties that it found. So I'm going to click Remove All on the right hand side and once they're all removed, I can choose to reinspect the document down there at the bottom or simply close the document inspector. And now all of the things that it found are no longer in the file, thus I've protected anything personal or proprietary that I may have forgotten about before I send the file. Let's take a look at example here in PowerPoint. Once again, we run the tool from the same place. We click on the file tab up there on the top left. We then go down to where it says info. We select check for issues and then choose inspect document. Occasionally you will get this warning here telling you that it's recommended to save your file because certain changes we might make with this document inspector cannot be undone. Would we like to save the file now? That's completely up to you. I do recommend choosing yes. Today I'm actually going to choose no. Now when the document inspector opens up, you'll see a very similar layout. However, it's going to look for subtly different things that are PowerPoint specific. Like down here at the bottom, for example, it's going to look for any notes in your presentation. Now, like it was before, we can turn off any of these checkboxes we don't want it to search for, but I'm going to keep everything turned on and click Inspect. Now, again, as you can see, it's found a few things. It located some document properties and it located some comments. And we do, again, have the options to click Remove All. Now zooming in just a bit closer, I do want to bring your attention to what it warns us about down there on the bottom left. It'll tell us right away some changes cannot be undone. And this is an area where we have to be careful. That's why I like to recommend saving the file before running this tool. Also, one of the limitations that many have found to it, it doesn't specifically tell you exactly what it found. It does tell you where those things are located. It'll tell you what section it finds them under, but like up here where the comments are located, it doesn't tell me which slide they appear on or what the comments even say. It just gives me an option to click Remove All. This is an area where, again, we want to be a bit careful. What I like to do is simply use this as a tool to see if there's any of these things in the file. In this example, it found some comments. So I would say, okay, Thank you very much, 
and actually close this window down. Once it's closed, I would manually find the comments, manually delete them or check them, and then rerun this tool again before I send the file out. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, two examples of how the Document Inspector will work in Office 2010. It's a tool that, bottom line, will help us protect our information and protect what we do before sending out a file to somebody else. We hope you've enjoyed the feature, and we do hope you'll find great value to the Document Inspector. Thank you for coming today, and I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon.